Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. I want to thank Brian Galebach, who created and sent me this fascinating problem. At the beautiful Three Geysers National Park, a placard explains that its three geysers erupt at precise intervals of time. Geyser A erupts exactly every two hours. Geyser B erupts exactly every four hours. And geyser C erupts exactly every six hours. However, you have no idea how the three eruptions are staggered. Assuming each geyser started erupting independently at a random point in history, what are the probabilities that each, A, B, and C, will be the first to erupt after your arrival? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So I first want to go over a tempting but wrong answer to this problem. Suppose Geyser A erupted every two hours on average, and Geyser B erupted every four hours on average, and Geyser C erupted every six hours on average. This is similar to how it takes two coin flips on average to get a result of tails. In a 12-hour period, we would expect to see six eruptions for A, three eruptions for B, and two eruptions for C. Consequently, there are a total of 11 eruptions, of which 6 out of the 11 belong to geyser A, 3 out of the 11 belong to geyser B, and 2 out of the 11 belong to geyser C. So you could use these as the probability that the geyser would be the next one to erupt. However, these values are not the answer to this puzzle. The reason is that the geysers in this puzzle erupt at fixed time intervals. For example, geyser C erupts every 6 hours. If it erupted at 12 a.m., it would then erupt at exactly 6 a.m., 12 p.m., 6 p.m., and so on, and the pattern would repeat. By contrast, if geyser C erupted 6 hours on average, it would erupt at random times, like 5.21, 11.45 a.m., 4.20 p.m., and so on, but it would average out to every 6 hours. So how can we solve for this puzzle, which involves fixed time intervals? Here's what we do. First, notice the geyser A erupts every 2 hours, so we can be sure that some geyser erupts within 2 hours. Next, geyser B erupts every 4 hours. So the probability that geyser B erupts within the next two hours will be two divided by four or one half. Similarly, geyser C erupts every six hours. So the probability that geyser C erupts in the next two hours is two out of six, which is one third. Now, in the next two hours, there are four possible cases. We know that geyser A is going to erupt, but geysers B or C may or may not erupt within this time period. So we can enumerate the possibilities. The first is that all three will erupt. The next is that A and B erupt, but C does not. The next is that A and C erupt, but B does not. And finally, we have that A erupts, but B and C do not erupt within the next two hours. Now we're going to create a little table that'll help us in the calculation. We're going to find the probability of each of these cases and then we're going to solve for the probability that each one is the first to erupt given one of the cases. So let's solve one of the cases and then we'll work through the other ones. So let's start out with case one. Let's suppose that all of the geysers A, B, and C erupt within the next two hours. What's the probability that this happens? Well, the probability that they all erupt will be the probability that A erupts times the probability that B erupts times the probability that C erupts. This is because each is erupting at an independent time. So we can multiply these probabilities and we get one half times one third, which is one sixth. So that's this entry in the table. Now, what's the probability that each one will be the first to erupt given that we know all three will erupt in the next two hours? Well, if all three erupt, it is equally likely that any of them could be the first to erupt, 
because we don't know when the intervals are. So the probability that A, B, or C is the first to erupt given this case one is equal to one third. So we figured out the first row of this table. Now let's figure out case two. We have A and B erupting, but C does not. We first calculate the probability of this, which can be found by multiplying the independent probabilities that A erupts, that B erupts, and C does not erupt. We know the probability C erupts is one third within the next two hours. So the probability C does not erupt in the next two hours is one minus one third. So the probability of this case is one half times two thirds, which ends up being one third. Now, if A and B erupt, then either is equally likely to be the first to erupt within this time period. So the probability that A or B erupts given this case is one half. And we know that C does not erupt, so the probability of C given this case is equal to zero. So we figured out the next row of this table. Let's go to case three. It's very similar to case two, except we have A and C erupt and B does not. We find the probability by multiplying the probability that each does or does not erupt given this interval. We then consider that if A and C erupt, either is equally likely to be the first. So we have the probability of A and C given this case to be one half and the probability of B is equal to zero. Finally, we have the A erupts and B and C do not. The probability of this is equal to the probability that A erupts and B and C do not. This ends up being one third. And then we have, if only A erupts, we're sure that A is going to be the first to erupt. So the probability of A given this case is equal to one and the probability of B and C given this case is equal to zero. So we figured out all rows of this table. We can now do the calculation that we get the probability that each geyser erupts first. We essentially need to take a dot product between the probability of a case and the probability of a geyser given that case. So for A, we look at the probability of each case and multiply it by the conditional probability given the case. So the probability that A is the first to erupt is 1 6 times 1 3rd plus 1 3rd times 1 half plus 1 6 times 1 half plus 1 3rd times 1. And this all simplifies to be 23 over 36, which is approximately 63.9%. Now we can do the same thing for geyser B. And this all simplifies to be 2 over 9, which is approximately 22.2%. Finally, for geyser C, we do the same thing. And we end up with 5 over 36, which is approximately 13.9%. So there you go. We figured out the probability that each geyser erupts first. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a math topic or puzzle, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.